This story comes from the pioneer days when there was a little old boy living with his mom and dad in a cabin out in the hills. Now they were so far away from town they couldn't come into town just any old time to buy what they needed. They had to make everything they used or they had to grow or hunt everything that they ate. Now in the springtime, their garden had lots of good stuff. They had radishes and turnips and lettuce and spinach and things like that. And they had sweet peas growing in the garden. And Later in the summer, they had tomatoes and corn and cucumbers and squash and okra and peppers. But this story happens early in the summer when the spring food was all eaten up and the summer plants were just babies. They didn't even have flowers yet, let alone any fruit. So all there was to eat was green beans. They had green bean vines growing in the garden. And one evening, Mama said, okay, grab your buckets. We're gonna go out to the garden and pick green beans for supper. Now, little old boy, he liked green beans if they were cooked with some ham or bacon to add flavor. Trouble was, they already ate up the ham and bacon from last year's pig. There was no meat left to cook with the beans. He said, oh, mom, are we gonna have plain beans without any meat? And she said, yes, dear, but this is what we've got to eat. So come on, let's pick. And they each got their bucket. And they went out to the garden and they started picking the beans and putting them in their buckets. Now. Mom and Dad, they picked fast, but the little old boy was thinking, plain beans without any meat. Plain beans. Can you do that with me? Plain beans without any meat. Plain beans without any meat. Yuck. Plain beans without out any meat so you won't be surprised that mom and dad's bucket were full they went right into the house to fix them and he looked in his bucket and it was hardly half full he better hurry up plain beans without any meat plain beans without and he found a bean vine nobody had been picking on it grew right out of the garden over the fence and out in the woods. So he followed it. Plain beans without any meat. Plain beans without any meat. Plain beans without any meat. Plain beans. And in the woods, that vine grew right over a big old hollow log that was lying on its side in the woods. And when he looked at the hollow opening at the end of the log, there was a chunk of meat. He looked all around and there was nobody there who could have left that chunk of meat. Well, if they didn't want it, he did. So he picked some big leaves, wrapped up the chunk of meat, and he stuffed it in the front of his bib overalls. And just as he was getting up, he happened to look down inside that hollow log and he saw two big glowing eyes looking out at him. <clears throat> um, he jumped up and he ran back over the, over, over the fence, through the garden, back up to the house. But when he got to the house and looked back, nothing was following him. So he went inside and he didn't say anything about it. He didn't say anything about the chunk of meat he had in his overall. Well, they sat there and they snapped the beans into bite-sized pieces and put them in a big pot to cook. Little old boy didn't say anything. His mother went outside. I'll just pump some water from the well to cook these beans. And his father went outside. I'll, I'll cut some wood for the fire to cook these beans. Little old boy didn't say anything. But when they were outside, he took out that chunk of meat. He unwrapped those big old leaves and he put that chunk of meat down at the bottom of the pot, covered up with all those green beans. 
they came in, put the water in the pot, built up the fire, started to cook. And his mother said, my, my, those beans smell good. They smell as if they were cooking with a chunk of meat. But little old boy didn't say anything. They started to eat those beans when they were ready. And his dad said, mm, mm, these beans taste good. They taste as if they were cooked with a chunk of meat. But the little old boy didn't say anything. They ate their fill of cooked green beans and there was still more than half a pot full left. And after a bit, it started to get late and his mom and dad said, Oh, I think we'll go to bed now. And his dad barred the door and went around and shut the shutters on all the windows. And mom and dad went in their bedroom and they went to bed. But the little old boy just sat there watching the fire go out in the fireplace. He didn't say anything and he didn't go up into the loft to go to bed. But after a bit, he heard something coming up the path to the house. He heard something scratch on the door and he heard, give me back my chunk of meat. Little old boy knew that bar on the door was strong. He just sat there in front of the fire and he didn't say anything. Then he heard something walk around the cabin and scratch on the shutters of the windows. Give me back my chunk of meat. Little old boy knew the shutters were locked. He just sat there, didn't say anything. Then he heard something climb up on the roof and come scrabbling down the chimney. And he saw something sitting in the fireplace with its two big eyes staring at him. Give me back my chunk of meat. And the little old boy reached into the bean pot and he said, take it. That's the story of the chunk of meat. Well, what do you think of that? Can you turn on your sound again? I can't hear you. You want to? There you are. Okay, there we there go. go. Oh, good. That was good. That was a good story. Very good. But it sounded a little freaky.